I was four and a half when I was diagnosed. We were like bundled around different hospitals before they um, finally diagnosed me as uh, type one. I, I've now had it for 11 plus years and it's just become part of my life. I was on injections for two years and got a first pump. It was an um, Animas pump. And we were like, oh my gosh, it does it all for you. You don't have to take the Levomir insulin anymore. You don't have to inject yourself every night. It's all there and you just need to put it in on the pump. And we thought, oh, that's so amazing. And we had this first pump and then we got upgraded to the next pump. And we're like, oh my gosh, we thought the first pump was good. Now this one, we were doing, what, um, a quarter of a unit on the first pump. Now it's doing 0 0.01 of a unit and the, the technology, it's been clear that it's really progressed amazingly. And now I'm on the closed loop system as well. And that's been amazing, especially like during the night. Now, I, for the most part, I'm like on a steady line throughout the night, which is something we basically could never have thought of eight years ago when I first got my pump. It's, it's been amazing. Having friends around me who uh, I could talk to openly about my experiences, and about how I was feeling. And uh, um, I, I recently did my Duke of Edinburgh award and they were all around me. And I, and one of my friends got up and said to us, oh, okay, James, um, what are your symptoms for if you're having a hypo so we can all recognize and help you through that. And it, it's amazing to have that sort of support from your friends and your peers around you because I, for me, I, I gather that not everyone does get it and I, I feel quite privileged to be able to get that sort of support. I feel that because we've got such good groundwork in place, we've got great support at the hospital. I'm being seen by Professor Hein Marsh, who is apparently one of the best in the business. And I've got my parents who have been amazing. And so I feel that when I do go on to these next stages, I, I know I have the support around me, the infrastructure to be able to go out and do what anyone else should be able to do. My advice to someone who's newly diagnosed would be to surround yourself with people who can, you can be fully open with, you can fully trust and to have and make sure that you are being open with the people around you, with your school, with your friends, with your family, to make sure that you're not entirely dependent on yourself, but you can let other people help you as well because you don't want to have to deal with that all yourself and you shouldn't have to do that either.